So if you do something to boost your immune system, does that really prevent getting the coronavirus? Now, you guys see a lot of videos on YouTube nowadays, how to boost your immune system, how to not get coronavirus, blah, 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 blah. If you watch all these videos, they're all the same BS. Now, which one is true, which one is not true? What you should do, what you should not do? Tune in. So the big question, I have seen a lot of videos, a lot of discussions, and I get a lot of questions from my patients in my diabetes practice. By the way, I'm the founder of SugarMDs. It's an on-demand diabetes care. We three people from home. So guys, immune system is very complicated. So if you think that you're gonna eat, drink some orange juice and you're gonna eat some herbal supplements and suddenly you're gonna turn into a Superman and beat the coronavirus, good luck with that. That doesn't happen. So you do not open your doors to the teeth. You do not open your doors to uh, the enemy thinking that you have a great army or thinking that you ha you're doing great. You don't do that. You just follow the guidelines, make sure you are having the social distancing, you know, make sure that you're staying home. Enjoy yourself, take time off, read something, do something with your family, stay away from other people, don't go crazy, don't try to spend money on these herbal supplements that they are trying to sell you. Just don't. Um, only thing you can do actually, to be honest with you, when you're home, just reconsider your lifestyle a little bit maybe because what people do most of the time, they do things that they can actually, that it can weaken their immune system. The, the things they do, not sleeping enough, not eating well, not exercising, not eating enough vegetables and fruits. That is actually going to make you prone to insulin resistance and make you diabetic one day. And then as a result of this chronic disease, you know, even if you're not diabetic, insulin resistance and metabolic syndrome is a chronic disease. So um, when you have chronic disease, your immune system is down. So your immune system is not going to get boosted overnight for eating or drinking something suddenly. It's just not going to happen. So, so I know everybody wants to believe a Batman or a Superman to come and save the world. Uh, same thing, you know, we human nature, we want to believe that we are going to drink orange juice and we are going to eat some spinach and we are going to, you know, turn into a strong man or something, you know. So that, that, that's not going to happen. So to be, rea to, to be real, you know, just listen to a real scientist. Listen to like Anthony Fauci, guys. Now, have, you ever, have you ever seen Anthony Fauci saying, oh, go eat some spinach or go drink some orange juice and you'll be fine. We'll beat the coronavirus. No, the guy has been telling 100 times, guys, listen to me, okay? We are trying to create a vaccine. That's a treatment. We are trying to, you know, create a treatment plan with um, antibodies. He even was like very skeptical about this hydroxychloroquine thing. Like, uh, uh, you know, it, it may or may not work. We have to study. He's a scientist. He goes by the data. So he's not going to BS you with herbal supplements and stuff like that that you hear on the YouTube video. And they make it look like they're really serious. And listen, somebody doesn't have real credentials behind their name. Just be very careful, guys. You know, they're there. Everybody there to make money. Uh, they put a nice face and they try to sell you stuff. Just... Don't listen to it. Uh, just do your thing. Just be healthy. Try to, you know, avoid exposure. If you have a chronic disease, you are susceptible. Okay, so you know that it's just not going to happen. Even the kids, even the super healthy people, uh, die from this disease. So I wouldn't be heroic when it comes to that. So I would just stay away from other people. Um, you know, the thing is, if you're a diabetic, if you drink orange juice, you're going to be in trouble. So your immune system is not going to get anything from it, but your blood sugars will be high. So I would suggest, depending on your chronic condition, you should follow certain guidelines. If you have a chronic kidney disease, that's different. If you have a diabetes, that's different. If you have a heart disease, that's different. So trying to stay stable, controlling your diabetes, controlling your heart disease, uh, staying away from the hospital is the most important right now. The last thing you want to do is ending up in the hospital where all the coronavirus lives, right? So don't want to go there. So maintain yourself. Don't worry about your immune system. It's going to be fine if you don't get the virus. If you get the virus, I don't care what you're eating or drinking, you may go down. And we don't want that. We don't want that. Doctors don't want that. That's why <laughs> even people on the TV, they say, stay the F home. I've never seen doctors using F word that common because people don't listen. They still go out. They still party. And we are like, okay, excuse me. Hello?
Hello, vitamin C people, vitamin D people, herbal people, listen to me. Don't open your arms to the virus. Don't. Okay. Anyways, guys, I love you. We are here to help your diabetes, and we are doing a remote management. As re uh, just remember that you do not have to step into doctor's office. You can just see us. Take care of your. We can take care of your medications. We can see your data remotely. Everything we do is 24/7 service. So remember that. Stay away from the virus. Stay healthy. Eat well. Sleep well. Exercise. You can still exercise. Nobody's going to arrest you for going out for a, for a walk as long as you're not, you know, congregating with 10 people trying to run. Uh, as long as you don't do that, I think you'll be perfectly fine. So uh, if you have any questions or concerns, please let us know. Give a thumbs up if you like the video. Um, and remember to subscribe. We are doing two to three videos at least a week about diabetes or some general topics. And again, I do not speak anything that is not proven. I'm a scientist. I'm a physician. I believe in evidence-based care, and I believe in do not harm first. So if you are with me, subscribe. We'll see you next time.